Good day, everyone. Today, this is to present my term paper, which focuses on addressing the complex problem of inadequate accreditation readiness at Ifugao State University. In today's presentation, I will outline the challenges we face in achieving accreditation, identify the target beneficiaries of our proposed solutions, and discuss the key stakeholders and partners involved in this initiative. By the end of this presentation, I hope to provide a clear understanding of why this issue is critical for the university and how we can effectively address it together. In this term paper, I aim to explore the pressing issue of inadequate accreditation readiness at Ifugao State University. Accreditation serves as an external validation of an institution's educational quality and plays a crucial role in enhancing institutional credibility. Unfortunately, IFSU currently grapples with several challenges that hinder its accreditation process. Key factors contributing to inadequate accreditation readiness include insufficient training for faculty and staff on accreditation standards, unclear guidelines regarding the accreditation process, and a general lack of awareness among stakeholders about the importance of accreditation. To address these challenges, I propose implementing a Comprehensive Quality Assurance Framework, or CQAF. This framework will establish clear guidelines, promote stakeholder engagement, and foster a culture of continuous improvement. The study will employ a mixed methods research design, combining both quantitative and qualitative data collection techniques to substantiate claims regarding the problem and evaluate the proposed solution. Ultimately, the goal is to enhance IFSU's accreditation readiness and secure the university's long-term growth. Accreditation is a fundamental aspect of higher education that provides an external evaluation of an institution's quality and compliance with established standards. For Ifugao State University, achieving and maintaining accreditation is essential not just for credibility, but also for securing the funding and resources necessary for growth and development. However, the university faces significant hurdles in this area. Challenges include a lack of comprehensive training programs for faculty and staff, leading to gaps in knowledge about accreditation requirements. Additionally, there are often ambiguous guidelines related to the accreditation process, resulting in confusion and inconsistency in efforts. Finally, Minimal engagement from stakeholders creates a disconnect between those who are responsible for ensuring accreditation and those who will be impacted by its outcomes, such as students and faculty. These challenges have serious implications. The absence of a well-defined quality assurance framework results in inefficiencies and a tendency to be reactive rather than proactive in addressing accreditation requirements. This jeopardizes the university's standing and compromises the educational experience. The primary goal of this term paper is to propose a comprehensive quality assurance framework at Ifugao State University. This framework aims to enhance the university's accreditation readiness and improve overall quality assurance practices. To achieve this, I have outlined several objectives. First, develop a training program, a systematic training program for faculty and staff focused on accreditation standards, targeting at least 80% participation. Second, enhance communication, establish clear communication channels among stakeholders, ensuring regular updates and engagement in accreditation efforts. Third, implement continuous quality improvement, foster a culture of improvement by regularly evaluating quality assurance processes and integrating feedback. Lastly, create monitoring and evaluation processes, develop structured methods to monitor and assess accreditation activities, keeping the framework responsive to the university's evolving needs. The Comprehensive Quality Assurance Framework, or CQAF, will be designed as an inclusive and collaborative approach to quality assurance at Ifujiao State University. The framework will integrate input from various stakeholders, including faculty, students, administrative staff, and external partners. The CQAAF will focus on three key areas. One, training a core component will involve targeted training programs for faculty and staff. 
This will equip them with the skills and knowledge necessary to implement effective quality assurance practices and understand accreditation standards. 2. Communication establishing formal communication channels will be essential. This will involve creating platforms for sharing updates about accreditation efforts, facilitating collaboration among stakeholders, and ensuring transparency. 3. Continuous improvement The framework will emphasize creating a culture of continuous improvement, regularly assessing quality assurance processes, gathering stakeholder feedback, and making necessary adjustments. By addressing these challenges, the CQAAF aims to enhance accreditation readiness and foster a culture of quality that benefits the entire university community. The research methodology will employ a mixed methods approach, combining both quantitative and qualitative data collection techniques. This comprehensive approach is essential for gaining a full understanding of the accreditation readiness challenges faced by IFSU and for evaluating the proposed CQAAF. In the planning phase, we will conduct a thorough assessment of the current state of accreditation readiness at IFSU. This will involve administering surveys to various stakeholders to identify specific challenges and training needs related to accreditation. Additionally, we will conduct a SWOT analysis to highlight internal strengths and weaknesses that may affect the accreditation process. In the action phase, we will implement the comprehensive quality assurance framework through targeted initiatives. These may include launching training programs, establishing communication channels, and initiating pilot projects within select departments to test the framework's effectiveness. Throughout, we will monitor progress closely, collecting data on key indicators to ensure the CQAAF is responsive to the university's evolving needs and accreditation standards. The study will follow a sequential explanatory research design, meaning we will begin with quantitative data collection, followed by qualitative data collection. This approach allows us to quantify the extent of the accreditation readiness problem, and then delve deeper into understanding the underlying reasons through qualitative insights. In Phase 1, we will distribute structured surveys to key stakeholders at IFSU, including faculty, administrative staff, and students. These surveys will assess respondents' knowledge of accreditation processes, perceived challenges, and training needs. The quantitative data collected will help identify the most significant barriers to accreditation readiness. In Phase 2, we will conduct focus group discussions to gather in-depth qualitative insights from different stakeholder groups. These discussions will allow participants to share experiences, challenges, and suggestions regarding accreditation processes. Additionally, we will review relevant documents to contextualize our findings. This mixed methods approach will strengthen our findings and lead to actionable recommendations. Stakeholder engagement will be a central focus throughout the research process ensuring all relevant voices are heard and considered. We recognize that the success of the comprehensive quality assurance framework depends on the involvement and support of various stakeholders. Participants will be informed about the purpose of the research, the importance of their contributions, and their consent will be obtained before any data collection begins. This transparency will build trust and encourage active participation. To maintain ongoing engagement, we will conduct regular feedback sessions during the study. These sessions will allow us to share preliminary findings, gather further insights, and keep stakeholders updated on the project's progress. By involving stakeholders, faculty, staff, students, and external partners, we can foster a sense of ownership and collaboration. This approach will ultimately lead to a more effective implementation of the CQAAF and enhance the university's overall readiness for accreditation. In conducting this research, we are committed to upholding the highest ethical standards, ensuring the confidentiality and anonymity of all participants. We will carefully manage data collection and handling, ensuring it is stored securely and accessed only by authorized personnel. Data will be reported in aggregate form, preventing individual responses from being identifiable in any published findings. 
This approach helps protect participants' identities and encourages honest, open participation. Additionally, participants will retain the right to withdraw from the study at any time without facing any negative consequences. By prioritizing these ethical considerations throughout the research process, we aim to create a trustworthy environment that respects the rights and dignity of all involved. This commitment to ethics will ensure that our findings can be applied to foster meaningful, positive changes at IFSU, further supporting the university's efforts toward accreditation readiness and quality improvement. Thank you for watching this presentation on accreditation readiness at Eiffelgau State University. I appreciate your attention and support as we work towards our shared goals. Thank you.